So users have the ability to create events, but now they need the ability to actually see the events that they created for the running clubs. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make it so that for the running club detail page, this is the actual detail page for the running club, you'll be able to see each individual event associated with that running club right under the actual information about the running club, which is going to be right here. And there can, be, there can be multiple events. Also, we're going to add the ability to see all of the events, regardless of the running club within this nav bar part right here. So first thing that we need to do is that our mappers look terrible. All of our mappers are in one place. And what we're going to do is we're going to decouple these and apply a little bit of single responsibility uh, principle pattern, whatever you want to call it. And we're going to put all of our mappers in one place. So what we're going to do is we're just going to create a mapper, mapper folder, and then just create a club uh, mapper and then an event mapper. So we'll have a club mapper, then we'll have an event mapper. So we'll say event mapper. Then what we're going to do is we're going to get all of these mappers out of our impuls and just copy and paste them over into our mapper. So we're just going to copy and paste this and we will just go over into our club mapper and paste them. Turn all these to public and then add a static. That's all you need to do. So turn them to public, add a static and you'll be good to go. So let's say public static. And then within our actual club impl, what we can do is you can just alt enter and bring all of these in just like this and it will automatically do everything for you. They're static too. So if you want to, you could add club mapper to them, but I'm not gonna do that. I think it looks fine just the way that it is. Then I'm gonna go over to my event uh, impl and I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm just gonna get the mapper out of there and put it within its own dedicated actual class. So say public and then static. Okay, and we're also bringing the alt enter and you may be wondering, whoa, what does this have to do with actually being able to display the events within the club? And that has to do, it has everything to do with it ironically because whenever we go to our club detail page and we go to our club DTO and we actually get this club service find by club ID, it returns the clubs, but it doesn't actually return any of the events. So we need to make it so that number one, our club DTO actually has the events. So we're gonna say private uh, list of event DTO and we want it to be a list of event DTOs and we'll just call it events just like this. And also I'm gonna go into my model and I'm gonna change everything over from a set to an event. Um, sets have issues with mapping I've noticed and there are ways to actually map it but instead of wrestling with sets all day, I'm just gonna change everything to a list because I think it doesn't really even matter anyway and it will be a lot easier to work with in the long run. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and change the actual events into here to a list, but you technically don't need to. Like it's not 100%, it's just personal preference. You can do, you could not change it if you want to. It really doesn't matter. Okay, so the next thing that we need to do is that we're gonna go inside our club detail, our fun by club. So we've got our club DTO. Let's go inside of our club service and let's also see what else that we need to do or our club service impl. And if we go into our club service impl and we find by ID, we map to club DTO. And if we look at our map to club DTO, we don't actually map the events. So it's another situation where we will call it, but our events won't actually show up in it. So we need for our events to show up. So we go into our events and we go club and we're gonna go get events and we're gonna stream it, of course. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna map it and we're gonna go events and we will go ahead, go over here and the actual mapper, we're going to have to map this club over to an event. And the way that we do that is we use our mapper. 
we're going to say map to e event DTO and then we're going to pass in an event and then all that we do next is we turn it into a list okay so that looks good I'm going to say alt enter and we don't so we're going to map to event DTO we might not even have the map to event DTO yeah, we don't even have a map to event DTO, so we are going to build one. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead, copy and paste this down because it's gonna be very similar. We're gonna say map to event DTO. This is actually going to take in an event. So we're gonna say, we're gonna, so we're gonna have an event right here instead of an event DTO. And we want an event DTO, so we're going to have to return an event DTO. Then we're gonna go into here. We're gonna do the exact same thing and it looks like we could get away with just shifting these over. So just deleting all of this over right here. Okay, and that looks good, but we have one problem. So let's go ahead and port static method over. And that looks good. Good. So let's go ahead inside of our actual club controller and let's test to make sure that this is actually coming back. So the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to go inside my club detail. I'm going to fire up the debugger really quick and I'm going to make sure that it's being returned back before I actually start altering anything. So we go in here, we go to, we'll just go to one random running club and we got our debugger to actually trigger. So let's go ahead and make sure that we're actually getting data back. And if you look back within our events, we are now getting our events back. So we can actually start wiring up the actual uh, view. So now we can actually start wiring up the actual view and displaying the data. Okay, so first thing that we want to do is we're gonna go inside of our club detail and we're going to delete the all of the event titles except for one. So let's go. So this is our actual detail. What we're going to do is we're going to search for all of these event titles. And we're just going to skip the first one because we want the first one. And then we're going to go down and we're going to delete all of this stuff here. So let me just make sure I'm not deleting anything that doesn't need to be deleted. So I'm going to delete this one. And now we only have one. So the next thing that I want to do is I want to add a th each, which is going to iterate all over or iterate over the actual events that we get back. And I don't know the exact syntax, so I'm going to go inside my list and just copy it. If you remember the actual syntax for it, that's great, but I don't. So I'm just going to go into here and I'm going to copy this over here. And we have club, so we're going to say club dot events, and then we will have an event right here. Then we can go down to here, and we can just go ahead and swap all this stuff out. So we're going to go th. So we're going to here. So th source, and then we will have an event dot photo URL for this one, and this will be. So we'll just get rid of this right here. So the event dot title. And we can say th text is equal to question or, uh, money, and then we'll say event dot name. Okay, that looks great. This should be enough just so that we can actually display our list on the web page, and we can actually uh, start styling it more and worrying about the details later. Let's just worry about getting this list uh, displayed on the web page. So I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna go back into my test running. And if you look, if you look at that, we now have our 5 a.m. marathon looking good. We can see the actual events. Now what we need to do is we need to actually wire up an actual web page for our events list so that we can see all of the actual list at one time. Okay, and the way that I'm gonna do this is it's gonna be pretty simple. I'm just gonna go into here. And I'm going to have a get mapping. And within this get mapping, I am just going to display all of the events because we already have a URL that's wired up for the events. And let me see. So get mapping. Then we'll go down here and we'll just say public string. So public string, and we'll call this event list. And we'll take in a model 
and we'll give it a model right here. Then we will go here and what we're gonna do is we're just going to return a list of event DTOs and I haven't made this yet. So we're gonna to have to actually make this event service as well too. I'm gonna say find all events. So find all events. And we're gonna alt enter this. So let's go ahead inside of our event service and let's see here. We don't have, we don't actually have an, a, a find all for our events. So we're going to have to create one. And in order to create one, all that we're going to do here is we're going to go into here. We're going to have a list of event DTO. So we're going to go event DTO and we'll just call this what we named it beforehand. So we're going to say a find all events. It's not going to take anything because we're just literally going to dump all of the events onto the page and go into here. I'm going to get rid of all this. I don't know why that popped out like that, but it did. But okay. So now we need to fix our related problem, which is not really a problem. We need to go into here and we need to actually implement our find all events. And this is going to be a very simple method all that we're going to do is we'll just go into here we'll say list events so we're going to get back a bunch of events and we're going to get back an event from the actual database and we're going to say events event repository dot find all which is we already implemented you don't even need to worry about it then we're going to return any a stream of events so we'll say stream and then we'll just map everything to an event DTO. So I'll say map, we'll say event, and we'll go into here, we'll say map to event DTO. We want a DTO and then we're gonna pass in the event. Then we'll go into here and we will say collect the collector's list. Make sure to bring that in, looks good. Okay, so that should be enough. And we already have our find all events. So what we're going to do now is we're going to have our model. We're going to have our add attributes. We're going to have this as events. And then we will have an event DTO. So we'll have, or we can just pass in the events just like this. So we'll say, just say events, then go down here. And then this is where we're going to return our events list. And we don't have it made yet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go into my templates, create an HTML file with the same exact name, so events.list. And of course, I'm going to copy and paste over all of my clubs and just uh, switch everything out. Just simple, don't need to overcomplicate, there's no reason to overcomplicate things. So I'm just gonna go into here and I'm gonna say event list. So I'll say event, so event list, it's going to have all of our fragments so find running events, and we'll say, so find running events, find a group of passionate, or find it, find running events near you. So find running events near you. Then what we're gonna do, we won't make an actual, we won't make a search for this. I think the search is kind of overkill. You need to search clubs, but searching events, you can add that very simply, but this will, this course will go on so long if we continue just adding every single feature. So we'll go here and we'll go event, event.photo URL. We'll say event, this one's got a name. This isn't an actual title. So, so event.name. And then we can worry about the view in the edit in the next video. So let's just worry about right now the actual name. So we'll go into here, this the TH text, we can get rid of the project name just like this. So let's fire it up and let's actually see if it's working. It might not be, there might be some things that we need to fix, but we'll fix them here in a second. So go over here, we'll go into our find events and we do have an error. So let's actually see what's going on here. Okay, and the issue is that we don't have the actual view or the edit wired up just yet, and it's giving us an error because none of those are there yet. So let's just go ahead and get rid of the club ID 
and let's go ahead and make sure that this is working. So I'm gonna go into here, go ahead, press events. And if you look here, we now have all of our events. It looks very similar to the clubs, but I just use the same pictures over and over again. They're different records and they're different from the clubs. They're just, uh, I once again, I used the actual photography, the, the same ones to create the test events. Anyways, that's going to be the video. We finally have uh, the ability to list our events and see the events within our clubs. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching.